All right, welcome back here. Special edition of ESPN Baton Rouge programming live from Mercedes-Benz of Baton Rouge. Come see all the new 2019 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter van. Watch a live radio broadcast by the ESPN Radio Baton Rouge team and enjoy free jambalaya with us. We're here until 1 o'clock. Our boys from Papa Earl's Cajun Seasoning is here. You can hit them online at PapaEarls.com. Man, it's great to be out here. We love our new studio over at ESPN. It's been over a year, and it's been fantastic, our relationship with uh, with Mercedes-Benz of Baton Rouge. It's uh, an honor to bring in to the conversation uh, Scotty McDaniel here. We appreciate it, man, for yeah, having absolutely. us out. It's been, uh, absolutely. it's been fine, and I know you have a great relationship with this guy here, the Riot. Uh, but all in all, our relationship as a whole family over at ESPN Baton Rouge seems to have flourished and worked out for everybody up to this point. Oh, definitely. Uh, we got approached uh, a little over a year ago asking if we wanted to be part of something new. Um, you know, I've listened to LSU football for as long as I can remember, and I knew that this was something big around here. Sports are big here in the southeast, and uh, with all the different you know, different stations and group guarantee group has, and we just thought it would be um, you know, a solid partnership. I mean, especially from the van segment itself. I mean, we have a lot of, you know, consumers and families that purchase them, but we have a lot of business owners, you know, contractors, electricians, plumbers, and all that use these vans for work every day. And uh, we just saw that it's kind of the demographics that would, you know, listen to ESPN Radio on a constant basis. Yeah, and I think more importantly, too, though, and why that partnership works, especially on both ends, but, but for Mercedes is, you know, when you can explain what the vehicle is and what it looks like and what it can do and how it can perform, you know, because – we're trending away from the day that you walk into the dealership. If somebody walks through these doors right here, they will be super impressed. And, and you want to just continue to get that information out. Um, you know, no, nobody would know, for instance, what the what the G-Class looks like unless, right. you've, unless you've sat in one and come through the door. So it's, it's been a great relationship. I personally have loved it. Uh, you said the new studio. But it's been it's a year yeah, old now, right. so we're going to have to talk to Nick and the boys. Maybe we do a, a few well, upgrades. Maybe we do a new one. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What do you think? So Ball player, right? Back yeah. in contract negotiations. Contract yeah. negotiations. Yeah. We, got, we got to keep going. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Performed in the first year, now back at the table. Right. Uh, Scott, mention this Sprinter van. We've got one of our own over at ESPN that we, we, we use around town, and it's it's convenience. It's what we love the most, being able to just throw the gear in. But you got right. here one on, on the showroom floor. We've been inviting people out here during the holiday season, doing some shopping on this Saturday to come by and look at all the classes. But when you talk about this Sprinter van, uh, what's the customer get? Yeah, so – uh, the Sprinter van, it's been in the U.S. now for, I don't know, it's probably going on nine, ten years. And uh, when it came over, it was the only van of its kind. You know, it was the size, and it's what they use in Europe. And uh, from a practicality standpoint, it worked. And it has worked for a long time. But uh, nowadays, everything's kind of moving to where everybody, you know, they like the bells and whistles. They like some of the new, you know, features and all. And you look in our cars, and they have, you know, all the safety features and automated cruise control and lane keep assist and all the safety stuff that Mercedes is known for. And so what they did with the 2019 Sprinter, they're going to start producing them in Charleston, South Carolina. They built a brand new $500 million plant. Uh, they're going to start producing them stateside instead of building them in Germany and then having to knock them down to bring them over here. U.S. made, uh, I like it. Yeah, so uh, have a new plant there. But the new Sprinter, uh, it has a lot of the safety features that the cars do. Matter of fact, the, uh, the infotainment system in the new Sprinter, it's touchscreen. It's you know got the radar-based cruise control. No other van in the segment has that right now. Um, <coughs> so it, it's a big step up. Uh, a lot of times when you have, you know, upgrades in cars, it's, you know, it's, it's minimal. You have little step-ups. The van went from, you know, yeah. zero to 100 real quick. Yeah, 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 I like that. Uh, the, the one thing that I like about this vehicle, this van, is from a, from a, a sporting dad's mindset. You mm -hmm. know, if I've got children that play baseball, soccer, basketball, whatever it may be, and you're traveling, and, and this probably isn't thought of very often, but if you go sit inside that thing, we're, we're talking about luxury as well. You know, you mentioned – you mentioned the, the, the business side of it, but that correct me if I'm wrong, that thing can be tricked out really to do whatever. My fondest memories was laying in the back of the van that my mom had with the mini blinds, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? My parents had, had one, too. Right? The so, good time thing. Yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. So, but, but this thing has the capabilities to do that if you mm -hmm. need to do it with the same engineering that we're talking about and safety features that we're talking about. Yeah, and that's one thing that's nice about the Sprinter being in the U.S. for so long. There's so many companies that do upfits and conversions and can outfit them pretty much how you want to. Uh, but what a lot of people don't realize is they look at the van and they see the three-pointed star and for people that need to fit a lot of kids, tournament teams. Mm -hmm. I mean, we know tournament ball is big down here yeah. and people need to carry, you know, full teams. And they look at it and they just think it's out in my price range because it's a Mercedes. But what they don't realize, if you really compare it across other vans in the segment, 
you know, it's yeah. kind of what and what. You know, they're very close. And the room, like you said, I'm six foot four. I can stand up in one of these mm. in one of these vans. They well. seat twelve in the cargo area in the back. I mean, baseball. So, so Jordy, I can jump. We, we could legit <laughs> jump. Yeah, yeah right. Y'all it's a trampoline. Jump. Yeah. We, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Cut a couple of backflips on that thing. Yeah, yeah, you might you need a step ladder. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> speaking of uh, availability and, and room. Uh, you got a great team Absolutely. over here, and, and we're going to meet uh, a lot of them over the next couple of hours. I, I know that uh, we wanted to lead off with you to just talking about what's happening here today, but because uh, he's got the best hair, uh, the best hair, yep. and a room full of pretty good hair. We have some good-looking guys yeah. in this room, uh, but Scott's winning in the hair department, no doubt. Sure, and knows it, and we see the confidence, and we appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, but uh, we'll talk to Josh, we'll talk to Nick, and we'll talk to some of the great, uh, the great guys over here, and great team that you have uh, over at Mercedes-Benz of Baton Rouge. Yeah, I mean, everybody here, we work as a family. The culture that we have here, it's, it's not your typical deal dealership. We don't treat it like a car dealership. You know, we treat it like a luxury retail experience. You know, if you go into, you know, Saks Fifth or, you know, Nordstrom, any of your big Barneys. You know, Jordy you likes Louis, so like when you walk into the Louis store. Yeah, yeah my, wife li my wife likes Louis, too. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, you get that experience well, we in here. we both do, I guess. Yeah. Well, we saw Mac in here, too, so. Uh, well, when you, anytime you see Mac Trulli in the spot, then you know you're probably in the right place, you know, so. Yeah. Greater Baton Rouge Food Bank? taking uh, donations over here? Yeah, we've been doing a food bank donation. We try to stay involved with all the community stuff around here, anything we can do to give back. Um, it's it's kind of, like I said earlier, we live around a culture here. Yep. Uh, we are a family, um, a work family. We try to take care of each other, but we try to take care of those on the outside, you know, anybody in the surrounding community. So anything that we can do to give back, um, you know, it's, it's what we feel is right and what we should do. Biggest occasion of the year right now over here at Mercedes-Benz of Baton Rouge. It's a winter event. We're here until 1 o'clock today. they got free jambalaya if you stop by and see them. Over here at ESPN Baton Rouge, Scott McDaniel, general manager, stopping by, giving us an idea of what's happening at this uh, convenient location right in the middle of our city right during uh, holiday shopping season. Stop by and see us. Free jambalaya, Mercedes-Benz of Baton Rouge. Gordy Rush back on set with us next. We continue to break down bowl games here on 104.5 ESPN Baton Rouge.